Hi, I'm Jesse Janae, founder of Lumi, and this is Shipping Things, a show about shipping things. And today we have a very special guest from ShipBob named George. George, come on out here. George? 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 Jesse? Hi, I'm Jesse Janae, and this is Shipping Things, a show about shipping things. And today we have a very special guest. I've got George here from ShipBob. And George, your last name starts with a W, but I've never, I've known you for a while, but I've never said it out loud because I don't know how to say it out loud. All right. Do you want to, you want to give us a teaser on that yeah, one? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty easy. Okay. It's pronounced Wojciechowski. That isn't easy at all. <laughs> Wait, Wojciechowski? Yeah, exactly. What is, what, what is that from? Uh, it's from Poland. My parents are from it's Poland. It's from Poland. And so it's a Polish okay. last name. But all right. for those who don't want to completely enunciate it, you can just say George Wojciechowski I just, and you'll be close enough. I just say George. How about that? That works. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us today. And, um, and you work at ShipBob. What is your role at ShipBob? Uh, I'm co-founder and LA general manager, as well as San Francisco general manager, which uh, is coming online in the next month or so. And I've been to your LA facility. We've known each other for a little while. Yep. I actually met you when you first came to LA. You were the first person I met in LA. Yeah, uh, I was, wow. <laughs> so ShipBob is like a new kind of 3PL. For people watching who don't know what 3PL stands for, what does it, what does it stand uh, for? Technically, it stands for third-party logistics. Third-party logistics is great because you're outsourcing the warehouse aspect of your business. And warehouse life can be crazy. We're actually getting a delivery right now. <laughs> so, and trying to film. Right. First things first, let's say I'm a business and I want to work with you guys. Right. I've got my stuff. You've got a warehouse and everything. This is, for our demonstration purposes, people, this is ShipBob. They actually have real warehouses, <laughs> okay? But this is ShipBob right now. And I'm a business and I wanna work with you. How do I get you my stuff? So even before your stuff arrives at our warehouses, we have an onboarding process. Okay. Um, and then kind of backing it up a little bit yeah. where we get our clients set up and yeah and get on the same page as to what inventory we're going to be receiving and in what quantities. Okay. And once that's arranged, we will work with the client to either get their inventory here from wherever it's manufactured, Yeah. or we have a pickup mechanism. So if they're located in the areas and the cities in which we operate, yeah. Chicago, New York, uh, Los Angeles, and soon San Francisco, yeah. we have uh, specific ship captains that will go out, pick up the inventory either on a daily basis, say it's like a boutique shop, Wow. or uh, a store of some kind, or even if they're just giving us all their inventory for us to warehouse, yeah. we can have a mechanism which we'd go pick that up and bring it back to our warehouse and put it into stock. Okay, so I'm the business. You've got my inventory now. Um, I've got a couple more props to help illustrate. I'm, <laughs> this is me, okay? This right. is my business's headquarters, yep. all right? This is you, you got ship Bob over there. Uh, this is a truck, hold on here, okay? <laughs> So this is a truck. This is like, you know, my carrier. Okay. And it could be also ShipBob. Like, I guess what you said is that ShipBob sometimes comes right on over to where I'm at and picks up my stuff. Yep. Brings it back. Absolutely. Our vehicles are about one eighth of the size <laughs> of this truck. Your cars are like, okay, we know what he means. We'll, we'll give him that one, right. guys. Okay, so let's say you've got my stuff. Sure. Your tiny truck. <laughs> Picked it up <laughs> and somehow got it successfully back to ship Bob. Right. It's there, but I'm I'm assuming that tracking hundreds of items from hundreds of brands is complicated. How do you how do you do that? Yeah, and that's really when we start to get to work on what we do. Uh, when you walk into a warehouse, you'll see that we've uh, separated everybody's items and their yeah. SKUs individually by yeah. bin location. So okay. we store each individual SKU in its own separate bin. So the inventory never gets commingled with other products or other clients' products. Okay, so you've got, you've got my stuff, you've got it organized. Now, dun dun dun, a customer. This is a customer's right? house, okay? Uh, an end customer, boom. These people want stuff, right? They went to my website, they checked out, and they're like, give me my stuff. And so uh, I'm over here sitting in my fancy headquarters, which is also a box, but whatever. And, and then, and you've got my stuff. Right. What happens when this person clicks the button on my website? What do I see? And then how do you get, get, get it? How do you do it? Via the integration that we've set up with their website. Yeah. 
um, the orders come into their customized ShipBob dashboard, which we build out for each individual client. And yeah. that dashboard essentially acts as an operating software for their shipping. Cool. It's okay. completely 360 degrees from tracking to invoices to, you know, uh, inventory levels. Okay, got it. So on our end, our fulfillment team sees that that order is live and yeah. has come in. Okay. It's uh, transmitted electronically with all the different uh, facets of the order, whether it's a overnight, two day, priority, first class. Okay. Our fulfillment team picks those orders from our warehouse. Yeah. Um, brings it over to our packaging team. Yeah. And whatever specific needs that that client has for their packaging, say they need custom tissue paper or yeah. a special type of box, that's already coded into the process. Yeah. So we know to fulfill those orders with that setup. That's awesome. And once we've packaged it, we run it through a price algorithm, which finds the lowest price among the carriers. When you are just shipping something yourself, like let's say, you know, when you when you don't have the luxury of this stuff over here and you're just doing this and shipping things directly to these people, you have to figure out Everything he just said, you like are figuring that out on your own. And then this this guy over here, this is what happens now. It's leaving ship bob, right? Like and this is usually well, a big truck. It's yep, not your tiny tiny yep, ship bob. But before truck. this happens, let me stop the truck driving away. <laughs> okay. Once we've created the label and have decided which carrier and how what designation it's gonna get sent out to. Yeah. Um that tracking number gets re uploaded back into your Shopify store, your e commerce oh, cool. store, whatever that may be. Um, it gets uploaded, marked as fulfilled, cool. and the customer, your customer gets an email saying, hey, your order's on the way. Cool. Um, here's when you can expect it. Here's the tracking number. So okay. the orders essentially come into your shopping cart and go out via us without you having to do anything. Right, it's all the right. Audience. You are sitting over here like sipping a latte and right. this all exactly. happened, right? Yeah. Right, right, right. You, are you sipping a latte? Uh, we are not sipping a latte. Okay. <laughs> we are hustling to get the package. <laughs> okay, out. okay, got it. Okay, you guys are doing so many awesome things for you know, small businesses, but like, why, why the decision to allow them to uh, ship in their own custom packaging? Most 3PLs, they'll charge, you know, they'll charge uh, a price that won't make that scalable. Yeah. We make it ridiculously easy. There's yeah. no additional cost for that. Okay. Within reason. Yeah. You know, if yeah, you need yeah. your tissue, a custom tissue paper or a certain color or a certain type of box or a box that's been sourced from Lumi, yeah. there's no additional fee for our clients. And so that's really, really important to yeah. the current market of e-commerce sellers, people yeah. who are doing really well, to be able to communicate the experience accurately that they're trying to uh, share yeah. and provide for their customers. I don't know if you know this, George, but I actually did a Kickstarter with like over 3,000 backers back in nice. 2012. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and when we did that, I w I'm not ashamed to admit, I didn't know that there was fulfillment options. Sure. And we suffered through a lot of things <laughs> that I don't need to get into. But my question is, why don't young companies know that there are options like you guys? like? What, what's going on there? Yeah, frankly, Jesse, there aren't a lot of options out there that are that appeal to the new generation of e-commerce sellers. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of 3PLs that have been in business and are maintaining their legacy clients, but their yeah. solutions are, aren't necessarily tailored to these young companies. Okay. That's what we're trying to change. So we're trying to change um, that by creating a fulfillment model that's geared toward the specific needs of this generation of e-commerce sellers. People just starting out, people who need to uh, you know establish their systems from scratch. And are stressing that connection to their clients. Okay. They want to be able to communicate through their packaging, through the way that they're they're creating and wrapping okay. their product yeah. to their clients. And oftentimes that's not a solution that's available to them. I'm doing this for two and a half, three years now. One of the things that we see uh, that is super important is to plan this out in the very early stages, not just for the immediate, right. but also for three months down the road, six months down the road, right. a year, Scaling. two years down the road. Yeah. And we try to yeah. be that partner to the e-commerce companies that we're partnering with. If I'm over here sipping my latte, starting my business, and I'm trying to maybe design my business even to be ready for fulfillment, sure. what should I be doing? Like, do you have any tips for me? What we found is that a lot of our clients, uh, for the first three to six months, bootstrap it themselves. Yeah. They'll have their friends do it. They'll do it out of their living room. They'll do it out of their office, sure. wherever you know, we work or whatnot. Exactly. Um, after about six months to two years, there's been a response to their product. Yeah. They know they have a business now. They know that they have an idea that people are responding to. Mm -hmm. So at that point, it's critical to find a fulfillment partner for the next phase of your business. Yeah. Can you help me pinpoint when I should reach out or when I should start exploring things? I think you should do it before you even launch. Okay. There's plenty of businesses that we're currently working with and have worked with in the past that reached out to us three months, six months before they actually sent us their product. 
don't be shy, reach out early, early. even if you're not ready, because you guys are gonna be honest and say, hey, like you might as well keep doing this for a little bit longer. Here's the tipping point for yep. when you should be sending us your inventory. Yep. And that way I have a plan from the outset, as opposed to reaching out to you when I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't know how to ship this stuff. Exactly, yeah, it's yeah, the most yeah. important thing is to come up with your a thorough list of questions and don't make your decision until you've had all of those questions answered. Yeah. And not just with your fulfillment company, but with your, like your custom box company or yeah. other partners in your supply chain. Yeah. View it as a partnership and get all the information you need from that partnership before going live with it. Do you have any stories um, that help people avoid mistakes that you think are too common or just didn't need to happen? Some of the issues that entrepreneurs run into when they don't do their full research and all the variables involved yeah. in shipping and fulfillment. Um, oftentimes they won't know the difference between the different tiers of shipping rates yeah. offered by the clients. Sometimes the difference is like five dollars a shipment or something. More, more. Sometimes more. it's like 30, 40 percent. Yeah. Because that could so blow their unit it. economics. They could go Absolutely. from making money on an order to losing money on order. Yep. And I would come to you and I'd be like, George, why? Like, George, I'm losing money every right. time you ship. And you would be like, Jesse, you should have researched dimensional weight shipping. And I'd be like, no, George, why? But it'd be better to just prevent that in the first place. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Oftentimes another issue that I've seen is customers have their product and they expect to sell one product at a time. And so they figure oh. out their shipping for that one product. Okay. They find out that people are ordering two, three, and four, and okay. that's a whole new box. Yeah. And they have, we haven't worked with them or they haven't come to us and said, hey, let's find the optimal way to ship this so we can okay. keep the dimensional weight as low as possible okay. and compact it, but also make sure that the product maintains the integrity in transit. Yeah. And another issue I think is the, uh, researching what the insurance and the claims process is. Okay. Now it doesn't happen often, yeah. but packages do get lost. So like, uh it's like this box yep. is in this truck, okay. and then this driver is like crazy, yep. and then it's just like, you know, that one gets lost, right? And then this this, this guy's like, I never had that one. Exactly. I never, yeah. As unfortunate as it sounds, what Jesse just demonstrated will happen at some point. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks so much for joining us. This is really fun. And you guys are running incredible companies, so I really appreciate you joining us Thank today. You. Yeah. Awesome. awesome.